there is a fault in the system, you will see the information appear in the top box of the teach pendant. In this example, there is a fault. SRV 0 002 teach pendant e stop. To find out more about this fault, select menu and arrow down to for alarm and hit enter. This takes you to the active alarm screen where you can see all of the alarms that are triggered when the e-stop on the teach pendant is hit. Now go to F3 history. This area contains the last 100 alarms or faults that have occurred. By pressing the shift and diagnosis help button together, you will go to a troubleshooting area where there are alarm causes and remedies. The R30IB Plus is the newest model controller available from Fanuc Robotics. This controller has many innovative updates, making it more user-friendly and offering new options. With the new controller, getting the alarm page is very similar. Select Menu and arrow down to For Alarm. Hit Enter. This takes you to the Active Alarm screen, where you can see all the alarms that were triggered. This system has no active alarms. To go to Alarm History, select History on the top line menu. Scroll through the 100 alarms here using arrows. Highlight the errors or faults you want to learn more about. Press the Shift and Diagnosis Help button together for troubleshooting causes and remedies. To view a reporting graph, select Menu, arrowing down to Alarms. This brings up the Active Alarm screen. Once on this screen, select the Type option on the top line menu, arrow down to Reporting, and hit Enter. The reporting screen shows the top five faults by incident. 